Okay, RH factor testing. You might have heard this term from your care provider. Um, so how to describe this? Okay, so RH is a protein found on the surface of red blood cells. And if you have the protein, you're RH positive. If you don't, you're RH negative. Most people are positive, um, but during your first prenatal visit, your care provider will likely order a blood type and RH factor screening test to see what, what blood type you're working with. Um, if you're RH negative, the baby's father will be tested. And if the man is RH positive, it's likely your baby is also RH positive, which means that the two of you are RH incompatible. Um, and in this case, your care provider will likely recommend the Rogam shot. So the Rogam shot. Um, this is a shot that you will get if you're RH incompatible with your baby, and you'll likely get it during week 28 of pregnancy and within 72 hours after delivery, um, if it is confirmed that the baby is RH positive. So what the shot does is it helps to prevent your body from making antibodies during the first pregnancy that could attack the fetus in subsequent pregnancies. So without the shot, your immune system would essentially detect the foreign proteins on baby's blood cells, um, foreign only if you're RH negative and the baby's RH positive, and it would create those antibodies so it could attack that foreigner if it showed up again. So, um, and it would attack the baby if you get, if the next pregnancy you have, the baby is RH positive. I know that's a little bit confusing. Um, care providers should definitely talk to you about this. Any good care provider will, um, slash all of them, and be incredibly responsible if they didn't. I was RH negative, so I had to have the Rogam shot, and it did turn out that my baby is RH positive. So thank God I did, because now that I'm trying to become pregnant again, if I hadn't have gotten that shot, there would likely be antibodies that would attack this new baby. So that is the Rogam shot.